So if you ever wondered what a piranha will do to your body once it is ditched into the ocean, well, this is not an ocean. This is clearly an aquarium. But uh, I'm going to demonstrate to you with a piece of chicken what it's like for a piranha, a group of piranhas, to eat a piece of meat. And don't get it twisted. It's a very fast procedure. They will devour your body once they notice that you are dead. Uh, exclamation mark on dead because they're pussies. You will notice they will flinch a few times because I'm walking backwards. But once they taste a bit of your meat, as you can see, you're gone. <laughs> You're going. <laughs> in my previous video, I fed the piranhas a piece of chicken. Now, in today's video, I will do the same, but this time around, it will be a chicken leg. So the bone is still attached, as you can see. Now, I want to name an interesting fact about piranhas, and that is they will make sure that everybody eats. They'll bite of a piece and make space for other piranhas to have a piece as well. I will repeat, by the way, since it wasn't clear in the previous video. They will not eat living things except for feeder fish. For example, goldfish. They will chase them and kill them while they're still alive. <laughs> anyway, they are natural born scavengers. So they like to just snack on things that aren't alive. And in this video, you will see them eating all the way through to the bone. And what I like to do is use the bone for other things. Like I grind them up and I use them. But for what I will not say because that's not all too interesting. Anyway... They are very quick with it. As you can see, not much is left of the chicken. <laughs> Today, I'll be feeding them a live goldfish, something that many of you have been waiting for, but also dreading. Now, I couldn't find a large or medium-sized goldfish that has been rejected, so we have to do it with this little one that has been rejected. That means that within one or two days, this goldfish will die anyway. Now, as you can see here, the prawns will actively pursue this fish and try to eat it. But after their little hunting spree of four seconds, they decided to let the goldfish be. Now, as time passes and the goldfish spends time with them in the tank, they grow accustomed to each other and become less anxious of each other. While they are still keeping an eye out for Selena, they still do not try to actively pursue the goldfish because it is alive and they prefer dead things. Now, they will probably be friends in like, oh, the goldfish was actually dying sooner than I thought. And <laughs> even though it couldn't fight back, it was still breeding. So the piranhas didn't feel the need to eat it. They like dead things. <laughs>